Hi, so uh, I've got a little break period here, so let me make this little video about the expansion of the school. Uh, it's almost done, only one part of the building right there has to be completed. So here yeah, we're going into a nice new uh, big break room. Uh, so it's just. <coughs> It's very nice and spacey, unlike the old cramped uh, place that it used to be. In fact, this is just one half of it. Let me turn around the other way. And there is a very nice new uh, corner. Just in case you haven't bought your own food for whatever reason. And going through this door I come across this big nice little uh, square uh, which is part of the break room as well actually and right on top of here is another part of the break room in fact it's there that I walked over before now, right there, I'm walking towards that door that leads me to where the gym's uh, halls used to be. Let's go to there and let's walk out of it and, <laughs> yep, the clouds are literally just here, uh, like, uh, there are more and they feel a bit different from the old ones, like... <sighs> Let me switch over to me at home. Hi, it's me from home. Do I sound similar now to back when I was in school? Well, different acoustics aside, I cannot fake enthusiasm for what's effectively just a rehash of a rehash of a rehash times 100. <laughs> In fact, my last video is about why the education system is just beyond even being useless. So, uh, just watch that for a bit of context about this one. But let me add some other things that make this improvement particularly bulky. And so the first problem I have with this in particular is that this core that is being expanded exists about 100 years. And in a previous video I've made about these things that I've told that the world outside has changed so much and yet this core remained the same. Like just look on the photos that I've took on the classrooms as an illustration. Uh, they are pretty much the same as they used to despite a different coat of paint so to speak. In fact another photo I took is of the inside of the classroom and there are the bus layout seats and benches which look pretty much the same and probably are in fact the exact same models as before. Yeah, if your anything is over 100 years old it should have been massively overhauled at least once. Except if it's a school because then the government prevents any kind of overhauls of the system, of the foundation itself. What the school has literally, or at least effectively, done is painting a house with a broken foundation. It will eventually collapse on itself. Now, there's another problem with this expansion and school uh, expansions, both physical and curriculum based in general, and that is one more lean brawl. <laughs> Uh, it's a popular thing going on in urbanism that if you add an additional lane to a highway it will not improve traffic, in fact it will lead to more cars in the increased capacity and therefore more traffic. And very similarly, uh, if you add more classrooms to remove break periods or outright expand the school curriculum with new subjects often solved as ex-literacy. That will lead to more stress in children and the association of the thing taught uh, with school and therefore it loses its intrinsic fun. One of the most disturbing examples of this is the No Child Left Inside Act in the USA. Uh, if this act were to pass, uh, these schools are required to teach children about uh, outside and the environment, both through theoretical lessons and through actual outdoor activity and play. That latter part is the most eerie uh, in my ears because that would take the intrinsic fun out of outdoor play and that's exactly the opposite of what the plan intended to do. But with that out of the way, 
it shows how pretty much every school expansion that has ever been attempted is either useless, nothing, or actually worsening the situation. I.e. in our case, the school thought they had two little classrooms so they decided to pack it full of even more uh, instead of keeping break periods open and uh, those break periods I really do find so relaxing and if you take them away from students they will notice they will become more stressed out which makes school less effective instead of more which was the whole point of the school expansion in the first place I have a Taekwondo course outside of school base and I really do like it and one time my Taekwondo teacher said to me and so many others if you want to improve a particular move uh, you shouldn't do it over and over and over and over again you should think about what went wrong uh, what caused the mistake and instead do some different exercise to solve that uh, this particular school expansion and so many others in general is just the societal version of this you can actually build as many classrooms as you like and rehash again and again and again and again but as long as you don't do a massive overall of the system i.e. set the children free to do whatever they want you will never actually gain any positive net outcome it's just more of the same and with that said, see you next time, bye! I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel thank you and I'll see you next time